Welcome to our Piping Engineering YouTube channel. In this video, we will give more detailed information about control valves. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like our videos. Let's start with the globe valves first. A globe valve is a type of valve commonly used for regulating flow in a pipeline. A globe valve is an instrument used to stop and or control the flow of fluids in a pipeline. It works by halting the flow of a fluid through a pipe. The name globe comes about due to the valve's cylindrical shape. There are usually two halves of the body within the globe valve that are separated by an internal baffle. A globe valve is consisting different parts. Main body of valve. The body is the main pressure containing structure of the valve and the most easily identified as it forms the mass of the valve. It contains all of the valve's internal parts that will come in contact with the substance being controlled by the valve. These are internal parts of a globe valve. Gasket Stem The stem serves as a connector from the actuator to the inside of the valve and transmits this actuation force. Disc nut for fixing main disc to the stem. Main disc Bolt for fixing main disc to the stem. Seat ring. The seat ring provides a stable, uniform and replaceable shut-off surface. Bonnet. The bonnet provides a leak-proof closure for the valve body. Back seat bush. Gland packing. Gland bush. Eye bolt. Cross pin. Gland flange Eye bolt nut A valve bonnet covers the opening on top of a valve body. Bonnet fixing to the main body with stud and nuts. Yoke bush Grub screw Hand wheel Will nut washer A globe valve full completed. Let's look at the working process of a globe valve. We continue our video with detailed information about the gate valve. A gate valve is a type of valve commonly used for regulating flow in a pipeline. A gate valve is generally used to completely shut off fluid flow or, in the fully open position, provide full flow in a pipeline. Thus, it is used either in the fully closed or fully open positions. A gate valve consists of a valve body, seat, disc, Bonnet Gland packings Gland sleeve slash brush A wheel for operating the valve Body The body is the main pressure retaining part of the valve and contains other operational parts such as the gate and seat. Moreover, it provides passage to flow from the valve and is connected to the piping on both ends. Seat ring A gate valve has two seat rings that interface with the gate to ensure the sealing of the valve. These seats come either as part of the body or in a seat ring construction. Wedge gate The wedge gate, sometimes referred to as a disc or operator, moves to either obstruct or allow flow through the valve. Stem The stem's forged shaft transfers motion from the actuator to the gate when closing or opening the valve. Body gasket In bolted bonnet gate valves, gaskets play a critical role by sealing the joint surface between the bonnet and the valve body. Bonnet. The bonnet provides another pressure retaining part that encloses and protects a gate valve stem and wedge. Generally, connects and disconnects from the body to provide access for the repair or maintenance of internal components. The gate valve's bonnet consists. Back seat bush. Gland packing. 
Gland Bush. I Bolt. Cross Pin. Gland Flange. I Bolt Nut. Then bonnet fixing to the body with stud and nuts. Continue to completing gate valve. Installing yoke bush. Installing yoke sleeve. Grease nipple. Key. Hand wheel. Hand will nut. A gate valve assembly is fully completed. Let's look at the gate valve working animation. We continue our video with detailed information about the ball valve. A ball valve is a flow control device which uses a hollow, perforated, and pivoting ball to control fluid flowing through it. Let's watch the ball valve component details and assembly principle. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel before starting the video. Valve body, the ball valve body is the main housing of the ball valve and it contains the ball, seats, and other components. Stem. The stem connects the handle to the ball and transmits the rotation of the handle to the ball. Stem gasket. Stem o-ring. Body seat insert. Body seat. Ball. Trunnion O-ring, Trunnion, Trunnion Bearing Bush, Trunnion Gasket, Trunnion Bolt. Body Gasket. Body Seat, Body Seat Inserts, Side Piece. Are assembled together. Secured with Body Bolts. Continued Other Components. Bearing Bush. Gland Packing. Gland flange, gland bush. Secured with gland stud and nuts. The gland nut compresses a packing material around the stem to prevent leakage. Bracket. Secured with bracket bolts. Our assembled gearbox with handle. The handle is used to manually rotate the ball to control the flow of fluid through the valve and fixing gearbox stud and nuts. A bally valve assembly is fully completed. Let's look at the ball valve working animation. We continue our video with detailed information about the butterfly valve. A butterfly valve is a valve that isolates or regulates the flow of a fluid. The closing mechanism is a disc that rotates. The disc is positioned in the center of the pipe. A rod passes through the disc to an actuator on the outside of the valve. Rotating the actuator turns the disc either parallel or perpendicular to the flow. Let's watch the butterfly valve component details and assembly principle. Body. The valve body is the nerve center of the automatic transmission. 
Body seat. Retainer. Retainer bolt. Disc. Tail stub shaft. O-ring. Gland bush. Thrust pad. Thrust pad bolts. Bottom cover. Bottom cover bolts. Drive stub shaft. O-ring. Bearing bush. Gland packing. Gland bush. Shear bolts. Gland flange. And fixing gland flange stud and bolts. Bracket. Bracket stud. Installing electric actuator. And fixing gearbox stud and nuts. A butterfly valve assembly is fully completed. Let's look at the butterfly valve working animation. This tutorial video is finished here. This video will increase your knowledge about control valves. If you liked our video, please subscribe to our tutorial channel and turn on notifications to be notified of our new videos in time. Your support is very important for us, let's not miss the comments and likes, my friends. Thank you for watching, see you on next video, take care.